Hello, Leo. Welcome to your energy reading. This is for the month of November. Sorry about the delay, but things have been a little bit crazy and hectic. So you are the last reading together with Aries that I'm doing uh, for the month of November. So I hope that you are well, you're hanging in there. Things are working out for you after eclipse season a month of October, okay? For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Shamla Tan and I'm a spiritual teacher and intuitive therapist. And um, I offer tarot readings if it's something that you're interested in doing. You can book a session and details are below this video, okay? Now let's see what's up for you for month of November. And interesting, you definitely have a new beginning. Oh, I see that in month of November, Remember, you're almost going through like a roller coaster. You're going up and down and up, back up again. Let me just share a little bit more. So this is, um, um, I'm channeling this message and tapping into collective Leo energies. So I'm just going to bring the visions and the messages out to you. What I see, what I feel, okay, together with the help of the cards. Nice. I, I like it, Leo, that you always have the magician. You know, the magician always has your back, which is very powerful. And you also have the strength. Two major arcana here. We have Queen of Wands. Ace of Cups. Very nice. And then Ten of Wands. Okay. All right. Nice. Let's see. So, Leo, it looks like there is somewhat of a new beginning. I feel this new beginning is not so much like a, like a physical new beginning. It's more like an energetic new beginning for you. And, um, you know, what I said earlier on, like you, it's like a roller coaster ride. You're starting the month really high. You may experience, I'm not saying all of you are going to experience this, but you may experience a little bit of dip. And then it will come back up again. By the time you hit the end of the month, you're back to, you know, like newfound focus, newfound clarity. Now, I, I feel like, you know, this is just life, isn't it? Where we are very enthusiastic, we're excited about something new, we go into it and then, you know, things don't work out the way we expected or, or you know, we, we are surprised by some change that happens and then we feel like we want to give up. And then... Then we realize that hey, you know, this is this is just a turning point. You know, there's there's, you know, nothing wrong with this. I'll just stay on course, and then you gain clarity from it. You know, that's the overall energy that I'm sensing for the month of November for you, um, Leo. So we have here the page of, uh, Pentacles. You know, you're manifesting everything to your highest desire. But I feel there's also some form of fear. You know, the fear that you have is almost like you're telling yourself. This is just too good to be true. And then you stop short of committing yourself to something deeper and greater and bigger because you are afraid. And what you need actually is some pep talk. You know, speak to someone you trust or, or go see a therapist if you feel like it's, it's, it's a block, like a psychological block or some trauma that you experienced when you were young uh, or younger and that there's something there that may be blocking you from receiving. So be open to receive, um, be open to, to get the help that you need because you, you are going to get a lot of clarity if you have the courage, you know, to face up to this block that you may be experiencing. I feel it's more like an emotional block that becomes a mental block. So Ace of Swords is about new ideas and clarity about, you know, the, the path ahead. So what is working in your favor? We have the magician working in your favor, helping you to turn your vision into reality. That's all there. Even if emotionally you don't feel that way, you feel like, oh, you know, I'm a bit trapped. I'm a bit lost. I'm losing interest. I'm losing momentum. Know that the resources are there. Know, know that your desire for, you know, this thing that you are excited about is still there. It's just that sometimes it gets clouded clouded by whatever is happening in your life. And so strength has come in to add support. Strength encourages you to up-level your self-love and self-respect. 
uh, have more time for meditation, um, develop greater unconditional love for self, you know, feel uh, your courage, you know, inner strength, you know, uh, building, okay? And yeah, three of ones tells us that you are simply now just building, you're doing the work and you are waiting for the success. And it's not going to be a fast success. It's not going to be like an instant success. It's going to take time. So you do need to be patient with this, right? And part of the reason why you may be losing interest is because you are losing patience. You are you are feeling like, oh, you know, I'm not seeing anything. Nothing is moving. But know that in the background, a lot is happening, right? A lot is happening. And so you just need to keep a focus on doing what you are meant to do enjoy the path, enjoy the process, whether it is a creative process or your, uh, for some of you, I feel like it's a business venture. They are going into like a new business thing. Uh, others of you is you are just entering a new life cycle. And what is important is that you do not lose hope as you go into this new life cycle. We have the Ace of Cups as well. So Ace of Cups is telling us about creativity. It's telling us about new emotional awareness um, it's a very deep emotional awakening as well as um, maybe for some of you, you, you are actually expanding into the arena of spirituality. You are becoming much more open spiritually and, and growing deeper. Um, yeah, in connection with your soul or your higher self. Others of you, you might enter into a new relationship, but it's not for everyone. And if you're not interested in a relationship at this point, it is definitely pointing in a direction of creativity, right? Like birthing something new into your life, okay? Um, just be careful that you may, that you are not taking on too much. Sometimes when we are enthusiastic in new beginnings, right, and we want to manifest things fast, we may unknowingly just take on too much and that can cause us to feel like, oh, you know, just too much. I cannot take this anymore. It's too stressful. You may feel exhausted because of that. So, so look at your checklist, you know, ask yourself, how am I overdoing? You know, what can I let go? What can I... Um, really uh, keep my focus on and you know the rest I don't have to really spend too much time or energy looking at them or maybe I can just put them aside and look at them maybe next year or the year after right not everything that we want to do in life has to be done now <laughs> right so um, a lot of patience you know is required of you and uh, really important that you are able to keep that focus, you know, with energies of strength and know that the magician is always working with you. You know, I think you've had the magician coming up many, many times already in the past a few readings that I've done for you. So make full use of this resource, right? Magician is a resource. A magician is ability to uh, transform a vision into reality is also a resource, an inner and outer resource. So you do have the inner resource, which is what's in your consciousness, what's your talent, um, your creativity. And outer resource will be people, will be money, will be things that you can utilize to help you to go along. All right. Um, yeah, it looks like a really interesting phase that you're going through in your life right now. I would say just... Stay on course. Don't give up. Don't give up too soon. Know that it will come, right? It's all about waiting for your ships to sail in. You're waiting for results. And yeah, keep on keeping on, okay? So let's see what we have for you, Leo, from we have your continuance, right? So asking you to not give up. Continue to do what you do. Success will come your way. I love this, right? Uh, these two cards completely resonate with the entire uh, reading here for you, Leo. Nice. Okay. And whatever it is, maybe you had a question about something that you want to do now. And the answer is no. Um, no means not, it's not about no forever, right? It's about sleep on it, right? This is about sleeping on it and wait it out. So I feel it's very similar to the three of wands, asking you to wait it out and not to be too anxious about it or um, not to feel like you need an immediate answer or not to feel like you need to see immediate success because success do take time to build, 
and you need to give it a chance, right, to play itself out. Okay, Neil? Patience, the key, truly. Okay, let's see. We have here, I honor how I want to feel. This is important for creative process and manifesting process. I honor how I want to feel. I feel like for you, Liu, don't tell anyone else this, but I want to pick one more card for you. <laughs> Let's use this deck, okay? Let's see what comes up for you, Liu. One more card for Liu. So Leo, if this message resonates with you so far, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, appreciate the energy exchange. As you can see, I'm trying to grow my channel still. And um, yeah, it would be helpful. And we have here, follow your dreams. So don't give up, right? Don't give up. Even though it feels like sometimes it's difficult, don't give up. Follow your dreams. I like this reading for you, okay? Truly follow your dreams bring it into manifestation. You have the ability, you have the resource to be able to do that. And I am looking forward for your second half of November where you will have sudden clarity, new ideas coming in as well for you. Okay? So Leo, have a wonderful, wonderful month of November. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.